Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to Fez. So, one of the things I wanted to mention here is I said in the last recording, I've slept since then, that I was going to try and look up a translation of this book. Now, this book is now glitched visually, so I can't even show it. This game is getting worse and worse with time and all I'm doing is having the game stay paused for a few days uh, for the entirety of the run which is how I play all games uh, so I guess what we'll do then is I'll just exit and reset and we'll see what happens I'm just gonna pause the video and then we'll be right back actually I don't have a great way to pause the video even uh, okay there we go okay we are back let's see where the autosave put me seriously uh, so this is not where we were before um, let's see one two three four a to fly oh I just flew right over the one two three four up and fly I just flew right over the uh, the black hole and it didn't matter all right so this is where we were and now with the reload, can we show this book? Uh, no. So I don't know if this is supposed to be this way and there's some secret here or what. Let's go to a different area and play the game some more and then I'll address the book a little bit later. Um, Let's see we are just in this area and we want to give this a college try we don't want to to waste uh, we don't want to um, just cheat immediately on something I haven't even tried yet All right. let's just fall down here Seriously, that was all there was. Hmm. Alright, now in a different area does the book want to show. I might, it may not show for a couple of reasons, I guess. Like, it is possible it's because we're in the Game Boy area. It, it is possible that we've just triggered something. Do we have more anti-cubes than regular cubes? No, but the skins in this world are different so that would make sense I'm gonna just fly up here and uh, set myself up for failure hmm I'm effectively at the top of the map Definitely some weird patterns in the grids as they're being depicted. Of course, when you're flying, it, you then have to run into to problems of figuring out. Um, wait, come on, grab that. Uh, problems of getting down there isn't really an easy way down so have we been through here yes have we been through here yes so I think we've been everywhere Yeah. 
And it's not particularly believable that that's lowering the water in this section uh, would affect the water level somewhere else. We've been through here. Hmm. We've been through here. Like the, the game would tell me, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well. What else? What else? What else could be the case? It's not super easy to try and make that jump. Yeah, there must be just another passage. That looks like a doorway, but how would that open? Okay, here's the door. Just did not see it. Good news is this section is pretty much the end of it. Um, how did I fall through that? That was weird. Uh, that, that one just felt like the game itself. And I imagine this is going to give us a key that was supposed to be used to get to the area we went to first. And since we used the flying to cheat here, we now just need to get to the warp zone. And I think, without even really thinking about it too much, I probably would be best off warping to the top area here and clearing out that section if I can figure that out uh, get the time puzzles so down here through here three four oops Slight problem there where you walk out and you are standing on a door, so pressing up four times to fly is not super doable. Alright, now, is this where I want to go? I think so. Let's get out of this Game Boy textures. Which should be a loading screen because they're loading in the different textures. Hmm. A lot of loading screens in games are actually baked in. So even if you had a more modern PC, like this this is an 8-year-old game, it's very possible that they programmed in a minimum of 3 or 4 seconds of loading without actually letting it just happen. Uh, that that is the problem or it's it, at least kind of reminiscent of the problem of programming and having delays installed uh yeah that area just did not have textures to show see the book interesting um so when you're programming something and you just program something that says delay 100 milliseconds that might make sense and that might be necessary for the computer you're building now but software has a tendency to stick around and it may be that computers are 100 milliseconds faster in the future and they don't really need that delay um, so yeah it's it's often bad programming to to program in a delay and it's not a rule that's very well followed in video games a lot of stuff is just baked in load screens and but then you also have some load screens that are telling you important bits of information or at least interesting bits of information and then on modern PCs you don't see them or they just flash up for a second anyways I wanted to talk about this book uh, 
So if I was going to take the alphabet, which is online and has been was decoded, and you arguably really couldn't have figured this out by yourself, um, even with the Rosetta Stone room that that has every letter, they don't have anything there uh, that's informative enough to to really have an average person figure out this language this language they're calling zoo uh zu and they certainly would have had the opportunity to teach us that because what they could have had is an ancient classroom in the uh, ancient cities with the language that has like a b c d e f g all around the top and they do have a regular classroom that has a b c d e f g at the top in the starting city that you start in in the game uh, it probably would have been more helpful if you had both of those languages on top of each other so in the starting level when you're not even really paying attention in the classroom at the top where you probably wouldn't even see it it has a and then maybe one symbol uh, of of zoo or even if you just got the a e i o and u parts as one symbol that that would be helpful as the vowels um or if it was just half of the puzzle and then the other half y you had to kind of find find somewhere else or if it was just a direct one one to one translation in the school in the school room you still probably wouldn't see that information and that comes to a bigger problem with this game is that there's a lot missing in this game as far as just in-game helper systems uh, there's a lot of hidden object in, uh, point and click adventure style games where you find a clue and then you like will like merge that clue to another clue and then those two clues will merge together and you'll have some new object or you'll find a piece of a letter that's torn up and you'll find several pieces and then you'll have to play a jigsaw puzzle mini game to put it all together but at the end of the day once you've done the work you have something in the game that helps you clearly you can see in this game once you translated or solved any of the puzzles that involves the zoo language it should have popped up a trigger saying you now understand the zoo language uh do you want it automatically translated for you or it, at the very least uh help you a little bit i wouldn't be upset if it only translated 10 percent of it and you still were kind of playing a fill in the blank word game the whole time uh, but having to do so much of this off screen puts puts the earnest on the player uh, and the struggle on the player instead of the game developer just programming a game and that's not good for video games because you're supposed to be relaxing and having fun not doing work there's a lot of actual work here uh, but in this book too and I'm rambling a little bit here it's even more complicated than that it's not that this is just page one and then this is page two and this is page three and this is page four and page four page six page eight uh so going on 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 and on no the book itself is three-dimensional in the way that each of the symbols on the left is a part of that cube and so starting on page one at the top right you take have to take the first letter and then translate that and then go to the let's see this is page one two three four five fifth page and get the first top right letter there and then you have to go back to the second page and get that letter and then you have to go to the sixth page and get that letter and then you have to go to the let's see third page and get that letter and then you have to go to the seventh page which I think maybe is that one and then you have to go back to the fourth page one two three four um, 
I'm not showing the right pages. And then you have to go all the way to the eighth page. And then I guess this is the ninth page, which is completely blank to be somewhat helpful and tell you that's the end of the first word. Uh, so it's not, it's insane. It, it, it's just insane. Uh, if, if all the pages were in a linear order and you were supposed to take the top right character of each page and then translate that into the first word, fine. That, that, that would be somewhat reasonable, but still not really reasonable. So there were definitely people here uh, that translated this and all they saw on this page because was gibberish because if you're just looking at this page it is gibberish uh, it's not the top right letter then the second letter going down and then moving away left like we would read on every other instance in this game where we see the letters it's the top right and then jump around all these pages for the first word then you start for the second word on this page and the second letter from the top right going down and then you have to keep on doing it over and over again and you can see there's quite a lot of words here and fortunately somebody online has translated it and basically it's just a book of haikus so I'll just read it out uh, read it out real quick First line, from out of nowhere. Second line, impossible visitors. Third line, our benefactors. Uh, new paragraph, watching over us. Uh, second line, in hidden folds of space. Third line, in front of behind. Uh, new paragraph, give the golden gift. New line, a deep revelation. New line, our eyes wide open. I don't know where they're really getting the new lines, actually. Uh, I'm just reading it as it's written. Uh, and I don't know where they're getting the paragraph ends either. I guess maybe... No, there's no holes in any of this. So, if you were properly translating this, this would just be one long run-on sentence. Uh, new paragraph... Continuing, shapes to tessellate, new line with sacred geometry, new line in Empire of the Build. I, I guess maybe they formatted this to make it a haiku, just assuming that's what it's supposed to be. Um, I don't really think this, these are qualifying as haikus. Um, new paragraph, a new perspective, new line of things, things unseen with an S, that's probably a typo, but always there. Uh, new line, a new direction, new paragraph. The hexahedron, new line, the 64-bit name of God. We did hear that from the owl. So I wouldn't be surprised if we found all the owls in the game if we wouldn't have gotten most, if not all of these uh these haikus although it's very possible uh, that some of these are also written in places uh, just in general places around the world uh, new line after the 64-bit name of God uh, the point of origin uh, so a 64-bit number would be uh, that was a point of origin would typically be zero zero and then if it's a three-dimensional object it would be a zero for the x a zero for the y and a zero for the z um, because that's what origin is is the zero on a line graph uh, real really no reason why it has to be 64 bits though it could be 128 bits it could be 256 bits it could be 8 bits um, the number of bits only limits the number of increments that you're moving number of pixels generally speaking um, and this world is certainly not big enough to to really need 64 bits to indicate every single room 
it maybe is using 64 bits to indicate every pixel if it was drawing the entire world at the same time but it almost certainly isn't doing that uh, that would be interesting certainly if this game was like a giant open world Skyrim esque type game and there was no loading whatsoever you'd walk through doors and just magically get teleported to a new area instead of having these load sections or little transitions um, the next paragraph is a pattern a code uh, it's a pattern a code the new line a deep understanding new line a gate to the stars then the final paragraph is all of time and space new line and the space outside of space and then new line where does it end so is there anything in here that's super useful not really <laughs> it's kind of pointless and then it, this itself is kind of pointless because all this is is teaching you the numbering system somewhat but not really and it's a different numbering system too it's not the numbering system that you would use for this which seems to be the only puzzles I've seen have used this numbering system now I have to confess I'm an idiot because throughout that whole time I could have been leaving the game paused uh, unpaused and in the time space area which is where we need to go we're looking for the clock room hmm this is Let's see we're not anywhere close to where the game would end right hmm music changed when we got in here I was just wondering if maybe there was a first-person perspective element here hmm there's probably a little bit of resources being used by drawing these black holes because they have their own secondary skybox, but I, I bet not in it, not really that much. I, I would suspect it's probably not. There you go. Is this an area we've we've been? This is the area where. We would have been able to see this other half of the code in the other throne room which it kind of makes it feel like this this whole world is just showing me four iterances of the same world but then there's a lot of variety and a lot of differences between uh, what we're what we see um, to the oh man I did it again I was just gonna fly up to the top and I was standing right in front of the door one two three four There we go. Let's see. So, here's the problem. This puzzle very well does just require time. Or, this puzzle requires, moves the clock forward every time, what does this rotation thing do, actually? Like, every time we 
we enter and exit a place, maybe the clock moves forward a little bit. Now that's just bringing up a timer to get up higher. So we're we're in a weird position because I I want to play the game. I don't want to I don't want to have to uh, sit here for several seconds, several minutes, potentially, to have a clock move forward. And this one seems like it, it would move forward even slower. Let's see. And rotating doesn't seem like it's going to work. Because if it was rotating, that was all that was required. That would probably happen by now. And you can kind of see days are passing in the background. If anything, time is accelerated in this this section. So let's, let's try something here. Hmm. Deaths not so good hmm. like it takes it takes some effort I'm not, I'm not gonna lie it takes some effort to 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 get settled get ready to play a game and, and make a recording it's not helpful by any means whatsoever if if a game was going to demand then that I um, that I just sit around and do nothing like that affects me personally so I'm hoping what will happen here is that that was good enough to change it. One, two, three, four. Press say. Hmm. So if that moved anything, it didn't move anything quickly. I. So, I'm going to, before I have to potentially pause the video again, which is, which I'm going to just go ahead and type in Fez Clock Tower and see if there's any way what actions would be moving forward time or, or anything like that. Is it possible that it is a one of the lower timers that that we twisted to get up here? Um, how do I solve the clock room? Let's see. There are four anti cubes in the clock. Each will show when one of the clock's hands hits the top. There's a limit of a window for catching the anti cube before it disappears. Red cycles every minute which we've already gotten red. Uh, blue cycles hourly, um, which uh, green cycles daily. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. It says you need to check gray cycles every seven days. Um, 
If I've gotten gray, I got really lucky there. Um, for this answer, it says blue always hit 15 past the hour. Green at 7 p.m. once a day. Gray at 4 a.m. Uh, with a large window. Some people are saying gray and white is gray every 48 hours. To, hmm. Let's see. Another answer here says you just wait until each one each wins. Let's see. This is so this is straight up just set on on the clock on your computer. And so then if I have to change the clock on my computer, there's two problems with that. One when you are trying to access websites they that are encrypted HTTPS websites those websites demand that your clock be accurate to a certain extent uh, so that's a problem two it is not particularly easy to change the clock on a Windows PC computer um, and I have no idea if this is going to affect the um, the recording Let's see adjust date and time on Windows 10 set time automatically turned off and change it manually to 7 14 a.m. which is when I am recording and let's just see if that worked It did, but it wasn't the right time, and the green seems to be a different hour, so this is super annoying. Alright, so let's then change it from 7.15 to 9.00. 30 a.m. or 9.29 a.m. and we'll see if that works. Uh, no. 9.29 a.m. was too much for the blue and not enough for the green so this needs to be at I believe 10, 10, 24 maybe. All right. So change the clock again. This this sucks. This is a trick that kind of was cool the first time you saw it on the first game that did it uh, a long, long time ago though. Like. This is probably something you would have been, you would have done in the Super NES era or the NES era or Game Boy area like Pokemon where you set the clock faster. Um, but so apparently it needs to be 11 uh, for that, but we got one of them. But after you, this gimmick has been done and knowing depending on the platform you're playing it, it's it's just a hassle there we go hmm. that one was supposed to have shown up at 11 even but we didn't have that issue so have we now gotten everything in here? Good. So I'm just going to take a quick second to come back and fix my clock to set time automatically and then click sync now to time servers which 
I use time.nist.gov, which is the National Institute of Standardized Time uh, relay address. It connects to several other uh, time servers if you're interested uh, that they run. And there's a pretty decent way to synchronize. Now, ask yourself this question. Was that fun? Was that entertaining? Or was that just a hassle? Because I would argue that it was just a hassle. Seriously? How did I not get a little bit of a protection there? I hit the ground maybe you need to walk hmm. right so now this honestly would potentially be easier if we could just fast travel back to where we were um, if you could just always warp from a golden room Well, hmm. So hit this, hit this one, and then. Oh, come on, is there not an easier way down? Here's something that probably translates to one of the haikus that was in the book. Alright. There we go. We'll just fly down. If the, the flying cheat is a little too long, it would have been nicer to be able to just enable that instead of. Um, Alright, so we are now trying to get back to where we started, which indicates to me it probably is this way. Yeah, at the bottom. Alright, we're gonna figure out the right place. And we know that this is some first person perspective puzzle. So. The thing we have to look here. And I guess we could rotate this either way, so how am I supposed to know which way is the right way to read this? Um, left, left, down, down, left, right, maybe? I mean, is it left? Yeah, it's left, left, down, down, left, right, left, right, up, up. Left, left, down, down, left, right, left, right, up, up. Okay. Is there... Left, right, left, right, down... No... No, hmm. It's... All right, we, we should try it that way. Left, right, left, right, down, down, left, right, left, right, up, up. All right, then let's try it the other up other way. Um. Could it be Hmm Why does the first person perspective always look that way? Could it be down down left right left right up up left right left right down, down, left, right, left, right. 
up, up, left, right, left, right. I don't even think I did that right. What room would this be? Um, because I, I really just want to see any, see any look up the answer. Um, because I see the answer here, and it's still not of any real use. Um, and you can definitely see some visual glitching. Uh, they should have made these things be cutouts because if they were going into the ground and more three-dimensional like somebody dug a trench in that shape you you wouldn't just have a single layer texture that would reflect and jitter so much all right so I guess all I can do is type in fez white column room white pillar hmm Let's see I have a picture here that looks like it's left left down down right right up up could that be it? And then left left. Mm, that doesn't that doesn't sound right. Is it's not a a thing that would cycle either. Um, let's see. Let's see if maybe we'll just the lighthouse purple pillar the forest white white pillar I guess maybe that's what this is being called although I don't know why you would call this the forest I guess maybe this part's the forest but I, I would almost certainly say this is a middle room connecting these two rooms but whatever so they're saying that I'm looking at it wrong first and so this was supposed to be the first and also it would have been really nice if that creature wasn't in the way they're saying that that is left left down down right right up up okay left left down down right right up up left left down down right right up up hmm. left left down down right right up up do I have to do it closer to this left left down down right right up up Oh, so I may very well have put in the code the right way. I just was not standing close enough to to where I wanted to be. So then the next step would be to go over here. Is that where we started? One of these is not the right way. And that's that one hmm. this is a little of an odd and awkward uh, transition room because it's kind of empty it, it feels like there should be some kind of um, well some kind of boss fight or enemies to fight uh, come to think of it had there been things like that in the game where you entered a room and there was like some kind of physical conflict 
first and you had to clear out the room that would give this a secondary uh, experience a secondary gameplay style uh, much in the way we see a lot of shooters and things have like little lock pick picking mini games and elements like that it's not just all about uh, running and gunning alright so with the exception of this shortcut which is not where I think we want to go there's kind of nothing here e either I guess the bigger problem though is not that the, the room was empty when it first started because it probably wasn't empty come to think of it it almost certainly did have a little bit of the qubits on it uh, it's the problem now is that it's empty on the second or third time we've entered a room a treasure chest I believe this is this area which mm, I'm not sure I really want to bother with trying to fly up uh, not fly on this let's start with this though so just to quickly show what the code is I'm gonna walk over here it would be left trigger A right trigger up down left trigger right trigger A and I can't quite see past that mushroom but yeah that that pretty much is what I would have translated it to also so I don't know if what this says per se um, but it probably is a hint towards something either that or this is just more haikus so left trigger no left trigger a right trigger up down left trigger right trigger a It almost has like a fighting game mentality to it in a weird way all right so the images are not to scale uh, as far as the secrets I'm looking at the wrong thing and that seems to be fairly consistent And then, hmm, why do I need, hmm, like I'm here, and Um, were the other maps this way too? No, the, the other maps don't highlight the treasure. Or some of them don't, I guess. Some of them do. It's inconsistent. And we have another QR code, which I will, as, as probably our last action for today, I will take a picture of right trigger right trigger right trigger left trigger right trigger right trigger right trigger left trigger okay right trigger right trigger right trigger left trigger right trigger right trigger right trigger left trigger hmm um
Maybe I'm supposed to do it here. Right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, left trigger, right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, left trigger. I'm not using the triggers, I'm using the bumps. Um, alright, well, right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, left trigger, right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, left trigger. Uh, that's not activating anything. Right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, left trigger, right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, left trigger. I've got it. That's what the QR code says. Maybe I have to be standing on this. Um, that could be it. Right trigger, right trigger, right. No, that's left trigger. Right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, left trigger, right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, left trigger. Let's see. Right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, left trigger, right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, left trigger. It's not doing anything. Uh, let's see. Right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, left trigger, right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, left trigger. Nothing. Nothing. So if that code is supposed to be used somewhere, my only guess is it is supposed to be used in the room uh, with... Uh, with the broken treasure, uh, no, the uh, broken QR code. Let's see. Oh, that is a useless forum post. Nobody answered correctly. So, yeah, it seems like we're getting bad advice here. Let's see. Why did... Yeah, this... This is marked done. The QR code room. Let's see. And I guess we get some confirmation now. We probably aren't ever going to get the secondary burnt map. We need to find that room. Um, and then we also need to go and fill out these last bids. Let's see. There's also one room we haven't been to. That's not the room I'm thinking of, obviously. Uh, because the room I'm thinking of, we have been to. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. Maybe I got that just by playing around. Like, it wouldn't be unheard of that I would have just mashed the left and right triggers. And that may have just gotten me that QR code. Or it may have been I, I looked up the answer and got that already. I guess I have to make that assumption because at the face of it there's a lot of gold here a lot of gold and we have only a small selection of things left so next recording we need to move forward and we'll go to this area and then we'll go here and then we'll work our way here and get these last couple of things after that point it would probably be best to maybe fast travel here to that point and then go to this and find the one thing we missed over there and then use this fast travel point to go here and get the missing things there 
Uh, but very little left. It, it's still a little shocking though that we still haven't gotten all of the things. Like, we're probably never getting another half of this. And by the looks of it, we're probably not getting any other treasure maps. There still is an artifact somewhere. We are approaching a point where um, if we get one more anti cube, we would have a balanced anti cube uh, to cube number, which I kind of wonder if that would give us a different ending. Uh, I also kind of wonder if maybe if we ended the game with more anti cubes than cubes, if that would give us a different ending. Because there sort of is no reason that you need. You, you have to get a certain number of anti cubes or cubes, but there's no reason that you couldn't, as far as I can tell, play the game and get no cubes whatsoever and just get anti cubes. Or just get cubes and get no anti cubes. Um, so there might be different endings that being said I do have kind of a major problem with this game and the way it ended uh, there was no real entertainment there as far as um, as far as the the credits and the end of the game uh, that was a huge disappointment and even a small bit of text saying you've done 80% of the game try to get a hundred percent and then if you beat the game exactly a hundred percent maybe it says you do you did a hundred percent try to do now 200% um, the game is not over there there is new game plus anything to, to encourage you to keep playing and make you want to go continue playing is like totally devoid in this game and when it first came out and it was this mystery box uh like the jj abrams movies and mystery box type idea i think that got a lot of people hyped and interested in fez but eight years in later if you were just playing it and you didn't know what it was and you just got this on a steam sale for a few bucks you you could very easily play the game go it's a okay game it's a mad game and just move on and miss a ton of secrets even if you are struggling like I am to get all the all the secrets and looking up the answers and and cheating for most of it uh, to get to get all the collectibles it's still not super satisfying there's not a lot of reward happening here to collect everything uh, at best fingers crossed we may get a good like ending when the game is 100 percented but besides achievements yeah that's the only thing pushing us forward is if we were just being ocd about getting all the achievements and there aren't even that many achievements there's like 12 on steam so it's hardly a, a modern achievement style game if this had come out just a couple years ago instead of eight years ago that they, they would have given you an achievement for every single anti-cube you got and potentially for every few regular cubes you get or just every single cube you got um, you could easily get up to a hundred achievements in this game um, just for the different collectibles if that was supposed to be the motivating factor um, although then it would probably just in my mind be labeled as an achievement game that's not really putting much of a effort in making a good product so that can be a double-edged sword nowadays Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. And if you want to support me further, there's a link to Patreon. Or you can friend me on Steam or gift me and gift me a game off my wishlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.